worship chords uh, on the organ. Uh, first thing we want to do is actually kind of look at what we are doing as far as our settings on the organ. What do you usually have your set? I know everybody does different settings on the organ. Uh, I know some people pull out the two white draw bars, uh, uh, but what do you do as far as worship chords? Well, I tend to like a darker sound, so I use the first black one, the, the 16. I so use. that first black one to make it give it a more of a darker sound. Yeah, that gives it a little low end. Gotcha. So if, you, if you had just the, the two white ones, it would sound a little bit like this. So pull out that black one, you get a more of a darker sound. Sounds a little bit more fuller, so I tend to like that a little bit better. Since it is definitely fuller. Got a question though. Mm -hmm. Playing the organ, I I started off on the piano, so I really had to ask a lot of questions on the organ. You pulled out the first draw bar, the uh, what you call it, the 16, right? Yeah, that's the 16. That's the 16. So, question is, do you have to play in a certain area on the organ to make sure it's not too cluttered? Mm -hmm. Muddy, yeah. Yeah, if too you, muddy. If you do stuff like that, it's, it tends to get muddy if you're from the middle seat down. So you need gotcha. to stay above the middle seat with your chords. But the bass note, you can play bass yeah, note. Bass. This gives you a little bit more action down here. Here, gotcha. here is kind of. <coughs> It's kind of one-sided. Now, notice people have to kind of chord. They, if they're going to do the two whites, they're going to chord more yeah. uh, with both hands. Yeah. Is that true? That is very true uh, to get a more full sound. Really? I'm not that guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that guy, so I just... Now, what sound is that that you just used? I just heard something else. That was just this one. Do you ever play with that sometimes? Yeah, and then sometimes, you know, this gives it a real, a real nice sound. These settings right here. Uh, yeah, it's very, very different. But it's that worship sound? Yeah, you can use it for worship if you play it right. Everything you do, you just have to, have to know where you're at and what you're doing. You have to know what church you're at. You have to know what setting you're in. The organ is not just an instrument where you just pull out the draw bars and play whatever. Um, you have to be intelligent to play this instrument. You have to know what to do, when to do it. A lot of cats get on and they'll, they'll start worshiping like this. <laughs> couple of settings where you know they don't really understand, understand. how to really use their draw bar. and they're playing real well they just don't understand what the moment calls for right. and where to take it in that moment so always be prepared to know where you're going and what to use in that moment all right so that's a technique that we can use on the organ now give us some chords to go that you was playing on the worship part just break down some chord what keyword did you start in well, I really don't know. I think I started in B. Um, and basically what I was doing, I was going from B to A flat, from B to D. Uh, then I, I did a few chromatic walk-ups um, from A flat to A to B flat um, to C sharp to E, uh, from E to F, from F back to A flat. So basically what I was doing, I was going up minor thirds, um, minor or major thirds, depending on what chords you play. Gotcha. Um, so basically, in the key of B, scale for B, B is the one, C sharp is the two, E flat is the three, <coughs> E is the four, F sharp is the five, A flat is the six, B flat is the seven and we're back to the original note so we have those so um a sus chord would be just i mean these are basic worship chords uh so on your bass <coughs> you have a flat you have e you have f sharp and 
then you have B. Now, is your foot playing anything at all? No, I didn't really use my foot too much for the worship. Um, so, and that's a good thing because if you're not used to playing with your foot, these chords will go along and they'll be full enough to, you know, to actually play, uh, but without using your foot if you're not, you know, comfortable using your foot as much, right? Yes. Yeah, All right, definitely. so you got the first chord. So, this chord is, it's another sus, it's, uh, 